Hello everybody, my name is Wachara, and this is my first profession guide for Eco Global Survival. In this guide, we are going to cover hunting, butchery, and tailoring. In this guide, we're going to cover how you unlock these professions, what these professions make and what they can do, and who needs those things, what things do they need from other professions, and at what point in the game professions are good, are they good early game, late game, are they good all the time? We're going to talk about the traits they are. And just try to give you an idea of whether or not you would want to play this profession in your next eco playthrough or your first eco playthrough if you're a noob now keep in mind these are this guide is with version 9.3 so there will be patches come that may very well make this guide obsolete but i will have to just update it then so we are going to talk about hunting hunting is a profession that's available to take right at the start of the game you do not need to unlock it via research so what does hunting do? What can hunting make? A hunter obviously hunts much, much, much more efficiently than someone without. You can go hunt and kill animals without hunting. I wouldn't recommend it though. And I will show some examples soon. But before we do that, let's talk about the few things a hunter can make. They can make at the butchery table mounts such as this bison mount, elk mount, goat mount, etc. And also stuffed animals. So in order to make these, they would need to get uh, lumber from a carpenter, cloth from a tailor. So that's all they need for those. Anybody can use these because these provide housing bonus. Here is one example. There's another example. So let's just hop over to my multiplayer world and I'll show you an example of a whole bunch of these. All right, so there are several different of the mounted things and the stuffed things you can get. They all look pretty cool if I'm being honest. People will want to buy these from you. They do give a good amount of uh, housing bonus XP. So they are a great little money maker for a hunter. So now let's talk about hunting itself. When you hunt, you get two things as bonuses. You get extra damage, which ends up being 100%, which is double damage. And you can also get closer to the, animal, the animals without them running. So I'm going to go out hunting. Um, show you how quick and easy it is for me to hunt on this character with maxed out hunting. And then I will show you how difficult it is on a character with no hunting. Just so you can appreciate the difference. Alright, so I'm currently on a character who has maxed out hunting skills. Along with the traits for extra headshots and for arrow recovery. So you notice how this wolf is not running from me. We can hit it with a headshot. One shot it turkey not running from me we can hit it boom Dead. instantly obviously headshots extra damage so let's uh let's hit a body shot here so that did two damage it's not dead right we hit it in the head there eight damage so it's quadruple damage for a headshot a headshot will one shot everything except a bison see look how close i got to that before it ran away right like i can get this close and it's still not running there, now it's running. Just so you can see. Because you don't want them to run. It's hard to hit when they run. So let's see if we can get a headshot here. Did, didn't quite finish it off. We missed. That's on me. That's user error. But we can chase it down, finish it with a second arrow. So that is hunting on a character with the hunting skill. Now, let's take a look at a character who does not have the hunting skill. All right, so now let's take a look at a character who does not have the hunting profession. I am not a hunter. There's a wolf just sitting right there. Let's hit it with a headshot. Oh, two damage. Oh, wait, it's not dead. Another damage. It's still not dead. And there, it's finally dead. Only took two headshots and one body shot. Whereas that would have taken one marrow for a hunter. I'm surprised it didn't run because let's watch. Let's see how close. See, he's already running. We barely even got anywhere near him. He started running. We hit the headshot. There's two damage. There's one. And another one. And another one. And another one. Oh, maybe we can get a second headshot. Yeah, another headshot. Still alive, though. Finally. And keep in mind. If you have the hunting skill, you would get every one of those arrows back. You do not get them back if you are not a hunter. 
And like I said, you can't get anywhere near animals without them running. Predators are different. They tend not to run. But watch how close I get to this big horn sheet before it starts running. A hunter could get in soup. It's already gone, right? Right, so here I am trying to chase this coyote. It's faster than me. I'm not going to be able to catch it. So yeah, if you're going to do any amount of hunting, take hunter. <laughs> you can try to hunt without it. And it's fine to do a little bit. Like if, if you know a butcher that's looking for some carcasses and you want to sell them, absolutely do a little bit of hunting on the side. If you're going to do any amount of hunting, take the skill. Would be my advice. Anyway, I am going to be right back. I'm going to show off the difference between the three different bows. All right, so let's take a quick look at the three different bows. So your regular bow, obviously the recurve bow and the composite bow. Obviously the better bows do more damage, but it's more about the arrow path. So you can see how the arrow path dips on that. Whereas this one, it still dips, but not nearly as much. And then on the third bow, it's basically a straight shot all the way out there before it dips. So this does, for a headshot, did 12 damage. Right, the regular bow would have only done eight. So just for perspective. Now these bows, I should mention, are made by an advanced smelter, or sorry, the two better bows are made by an advanced smelter. Anybody can make the regular bow and anybody can make the arrows. And like I said before, hunting. Um, so there's the, the, the traits, the alternative traits you can take here are fishing stuff. And I should, I should mention hunting, hunters can also make uh, the fishery and the fish trap. Um, but right now, uh, fish in this game are not fully developed. Uh, maybe later in early access or after early access, fishing will be better, which will make hunting even better, but we are not at that point yet. So when do you want to be a hunter? Hunters go well with butchery. Um, if, you're, if you're doing a lot of hunting, you want to do it. You can dabble in hunting without taking it, like I said, but if you're doing a lot, you want to take it. It goes well with butchery. So if you're going to be a butcher, you might want to consider taking hunting or at least befriending a hunter. Hunters and butchers would be best friends. Um, if you're a hunter, you do need, like I said, you need an advanced smelter for the better tools. There is some uh, clothes you can get from a tailor. Uh, I believe they're called camouflage. Camel pants and camo. Yeah, camel pants, camel shirt. They let you sneak up even closer to animals. So tailor. Tailor also makes one of the things you need for the mounts. And then you need a carpenter for lumber. And a carpenter also makes the butchery table. So that is hunting. It is good pretty much the whole game because butchers will always need carcasses, right? It's even it's a little better early game because people will want these mounts, but once they have those, then you will just be selling carcasses to butchers or butchering it yourself if you have that skill. But it stays relevant pretty much all game because people always need to eat. So speaking of butchery, let's talk about butchery now. So the butchery skill does need to be unlocked. The butchery skill book is fairly simple to make though. Just needs two culinary research basics to make. And as we can see here, culinary research basic are just fried vegetables and campfire salads. So you need somebody with campfire cooking to make those for you. And then you can get butchery. Uh, you could take it yourself. It's not a bad combo. Or you can find somebody. Either way, you're good. So what does a butcher do? So the butcher does two main things. Of course, they do it at the butchery table, which again, is made by a carpenter, but they turn carcasses into raw meat and with the byproduct of leather, fur pelts, and wool. And they also can take raw meat and turn it into specialized meats, such as prepared meats, prime cuts, raw bacon, raw roast, raw sausages, scrap meat, which are all of course used by bakers and cooks. Nothing flashy going on here. That's all it is. That's it. These two main things. That's all Butcher does. But they, they're they needed for late game food. All levels of food. Not just late game. Early game, late game. You need the food. Uh, tailors need these uh, leather and wool byproducts. Um, and fur, of course. I believe leathers. There's also a couple special things. Leather is needed in. Such as... Uh, one of the one of the truck recipes, I believe, needs leather, but yeah, it's mostly about mostly about making meat, right? So, and Taylor loves you, so cooks, bakers, tailors will love you. 
Uh, you do need either to hunt yourself or to have a hunter friend, of course. It's, you know, you can try hunting without the hunting skill, but as I said before, it's pretty tough. But that's butchery. It's really simple. But it's it's a great... Uh, I, I've, I did it in my last multiplayer playthrough. I loved it. And now, to be fair, I was pretty much the only butcher on the server. But I, I made money off butchery the entire game. Uh, you will always need meat. There are recipes for protein and fat that don't have meat, but they are few and far between. Uh, a lot of the best recipes, such as stuffed turkey, which I'm eating right now, obviously needs meat. <laughs> Makes sense. So if you're going to be a cook, you're going to want either to be a butcher yourself or you're going to want to know a butcher. And the uh, butchery traits are the same as every other table using um, that you have a choice here between doubles the speed of a, a table when it's alone or increases the speed i think it's by 20 percent if you have multiple tables so depending on how much meat you're processing you can take either the single or double and then of course the other one is the lavish workspace increases the tier requirement but reduces the resources needed and the other option here is just reduce reduces the tier requirement i always recommend going lavish this one here you can pick which one based off what you're planning but this one pretty much always go lavish it's just so much easier so much better i guess so yeah so now let's talk about tailoring all right so tailoring is unlocked at the research table with the tailoring skill book. it needs three gathering research paper basics and then three of any basic research so the gathering research basic is pretty simple you just need for each one you need 10 plant fibers and 15 raw food so those are really easy to pick up yourself so for, and then so you can get three of those and then you need any basic research so you can do three more of those if you want or geology basic which is just 15 of any stone or dendrology basic which is 15 of any wood or 10 of any wood for each one so your choice but that's a pretty easy unlock so now the question is what does taylor do all right so what do tailors make uh, early game tailors are primarily going to make cloth which just serves as a fabric which just needs plant fibers which anybody can uh, go harvest um, and also cellulose fiber cellulose fibers just needed for a couple of random recipes such as the recurve bow the wooden elevator whereas cloth is needed for things such as uh, the main thing early on especially is needed for windmills so engineers need that for research and uh, people will need those for power um, it's also needed by hunters for their mounts. It's needed for several uh, pieces of carpenter furniture. And then the other thing tailors make is they can make some furniture of their own, such as this couch. Um, if you are going to be making these, you will need some lumber from a carpenter. Um, and another thing, the chairs and more furniture. They can also make rugs. So over at this machine, the loom, both of these machines are made by carpenters, the loom and the tailoring table. So the, the rugs, obviously, and the furniture give uh, housing bonuses. Let's just go over here. There's an example of the rug. And there's an example of the couch. And the other thing tailors make is clothing. A lot of these clothing is just uh, aesthetic. It's just for looks. But some of it does have uh, bonuses, such as the camo gear. Makes it easier for a hunter to, to sneak up on animals. Uh, the work boots, I believe. Yeah, the work boots and work backpack uh, reduces calories consumed. Uh, the running shoes let you run faster. And I believe there's a couple other backpacks that do different things. So this one increases movement speed, increases max carry weight. And I believe there's also a large backpack that increases carry weight. So that's mostly what you're going to be doing early game. You're going to be making some clothes for people. You're going to be making some furniture for people. And you're going to be People are going to be buying cloth and a little bit of slightless fiber. So that's early game. And then late game, uh, tailors become relevant again. There's They have three uh, advanced tailor tables that are all made by somebody with industry. So you will need to hit up somebody with industry for these tables. Here they are. There's the spin melter, which takes nylon. It turns it into nylon thread. Nylon is made by somebody with oil drilling. So you will need to make friends with an oil driller and then the nylon thread is turned into nylon 
nylon fabric at the automatic loom. You can also do the rugs here as well. I'm not sure why, because it's just the same. You can also make cotton fabric, which comes from cotton, um, which can be farmed, as opposed to if you don't want to go out and harvest plant fibers, you can get cotton from a farmer. And where's the third one? Here's the third one, the advanced tailor table. So this is more, uh, more clothes, essentially, and also cotton blocks. So this is a, a tier four building block that looks like a carpet. And the other thing that's valuable late game for tailors is the, uh, the nylon fabric is needed in some late game, big project stuff, such as the crane. You see here, nylon fabric, the excavator, the modern truck, the skid steer, those all need um, nylon fabric. So you will, Taylor's a weird one because it's needed early for, for the, for cloth fabric. And of course people will hit you up for clothes. People will hit you up for furniture. And then mid game, Taylor doesn't really need to do a whole lot. You'll, you know, you'll move some cloth for people to make windmills and then late game again, you'll be popular for nylon. So that's Taylor. It's a, uh, it's, it goes well with butcher obviously because a lot of these uh, recipes need leather and fur pelts so if you're not a butcher yourself i'd recommend making friends with one um if you are friends with a farmer you can get them to make farm cotton for you um, a carpenter like i said is good for your early game tables and then late game um somebody with industry is good and of course you will need a carpenter for lumber so those three also go together really well. You can hunt and then butcher and then tailor. It's a good progression, but tailor also is currently in flux. They added recipes in the last update, but there's like the event, all those advanced tables are recently added to the game and there's more coming. There's more recipes coming. There's more clothes, uh, more clothes to give bonuses. So tailor is honestly, it's only in an okay spot right now, but you, your server will need a tailor but probably not a whole lot of tailors. So, but if you think it interests you, check it out. Cause honestly, as long as you have fun, that's all that matters. So that is hunting, butchery, tailoring. If you enjoyed this video, please, if it helped you leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see more, uh, which professions would you like to see me do next? I think mining, smelting, advanced smelting is probably going to come soon. And then I will do, you know, the carpentry tree, the engineering tree, um, cooking. I will likely have to divide up into a couple different videos. So it doesn't take, you know, three years. There you go. Like subscribe. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be more to come. So be good to each other. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.